Do I ever miss smoking weed? That's something that people ask me from time to time. You know, do you ever think about it? Do you ever miss smoking weed? And uh, the answer is yes. You know, of course. Those temptations are always going to be there in our life. And, uh, um, you know, it's anybody that's human is going to have various different temptations that entertain their thoughts. And, and it's okay to entertain a thought, but when you take action on a thought, that's when you get in trouble on it. That's the difference, you know. You may be married and you see a, a beautiful woman walk by and in your mind, you know, because you're human, anybody that's honest and human may for a, a split moment fantasize about that individual. Anybody who denies that is, is lying. But as part of being human, we are always going to have temptation unless you just happen to be a robot. But the difference is is those who can entertain a thought without taking action on it, and that's self-control. And uh, um, and so because I smoked weed for nearly two decades, <laughs> more of my life I was smoking weed than not smoking weed, of course I'm gonna have those temptations that come up from time to time. I mean, it's uh, pretty much legal like everywhere now, and you know, people are, all the time I get, whiffs of it smoking you know, I, uh, you know a lot of my neighbors around me smoke weed and people on social media about it posting all the time um, you know it's become such a part of our culture that of course I get those temptations from time to time and really those are just moments those are just small moments because the majority of the time I don't miss it and I don't even think about it. More majority of the time I'm just so focused on my purpose and I'm so focused on uh, uh, on enjoying my life uh, and whatever it is that I'm doing in the moment that I just don't think about it. But from time to time I do get those temptations. For example just over the weekend just yesterday was one of those moments where uh, um, I caught myself missing smoking weed and a lot of times when that happens I I ask myself you know why am I feeling like this which is important to do to get to the root cause of why you're feeling like this <clears throat> and so I started thinking about you know why am I why am I out of nowhere I haven't even thought about smoking weed or missed smoking weed for a while so why all of a sudden right now am I missing it and I started thinking about it well I'm very tired because the night before I was up almost all night um, I was just really excited on Saturday night so I stayed up ridiculously late till like four in the morning I was uh, uh, I have this project that I'm working on right now so I just stayed up and working on it I was fired up and I ended up uh, only getting like three hours of sleep so I was running on next to no sleep I was exhausted really tired also I was missing my daughter because that was a weekend that she was she was with her mom and and I started thinking I said you know that's the reason why you know I'm tired when I'm tired I noticed that uh, I have a lot less uh, um, I, I get I have more tendencies like that when I'm tired I start to uh, what happens when you're in those weak moments really it is a moment it's a, uh, it's a moment of weakness where because I wasn't fully rested and fully uh, in my strongest ability my mind being a, a, a um, always looking for the easy way out in life that's uh, our brain will always love to take you take the easy path the path of least resistance start to think you know hey you know what in times like this you know you used to get high baby just smoke some weed watch some netflix uh and here i was wanted to keep working on uh um wanted to keep working on on my projects and things that i was doing i was like you know i'm gonna make this a really productive day even though i was only running a couple hours of sleep and then I started thinking, you know, I'm really missing my daughter because um, I love being with her on the weekend. We have so much fun together. And when I started thinking about that, you know, this is why I really feel like this. This isn't real because majority of the time I don't even, I, I, majority of the time, not only do I not think about weed, but I'm really glad that I'm sober. And, then, and I'm glad that I don't smoke weed because I like who I am sober. I like the type of person that I am that wakes up early, that uh, has energy all day long, that can crush one and two workouts every single day, that is always excited about working on business projects and coaching people and helping people and uh, inspiring people on social media. I like this person that I've become and, and I don't want to fuck it up because I know what will happen if I start smoking weed again? Then my productivity will go down, I'll get lazier, start skipping days, start um, uh, giving less to life, and before you know it, 
not because my guilty conscience will sneak in so much, I'll slowly start to hate myself. And I started to think about it, then I thought, wow, you know, I don't want that. And then what I do is an exercise that I do that I highly recommend is, a, um, a, is I focus on what I can be grateful for. Because really, as, as humans, what we are is we are infinite, an infinite source of love. And I know that may sound cheesy, but that's so true that love is really the most powerful force. And, uh, um, and that's what we are. We are infinite love. And throughout this, the society and the system and, and everything that goes on in life, a lot of times, you know, that gets beaten out of people and we forget that. But we got to go back to how we were born. You know, we were born this beautiful creature filled with love and we have so much to be grateful for. And, uh, um, and when you focus on gratitude and what you can be grateful for, then you're going you're going to raise your vibration and you're going to become a more emotionally happy it's impossible to be grateful and to be depressed it's impossible to be grateful and to be angry to be other uh, toxic emotions when you're truly grateful you're going to feel better and so I just started to think about, you know what, I am just so grateful to have a beautiful little girl. I'm so grateful to have, a, um, you know, my daughter. Um, we're so close. I'm so grateful to have this experience, you know, to, uh, you know, and I just started thinking about how lucky I am to be a dad and all the memories that we have together. And I started thinking about my life and how grateful that I am to, um, uh, you know, to have uh, multiple businesses and to be financially free and to be able to coach people from all over the world um, I started thinking about how grateful that I am to have a mother and a father and, and a sister and to have a family that loves me um, and I started thinking about all these things that I was grateful for and and I felt so good that uh, um, I was like th that was silly that I even wanted to consider smoking weed because I feel so damn good now and what I did and what I want to teach from that exercise is I is I taught myself how to how to generate those feel good feelings from within how to generate a high from within <clears throat> and that's a free high and the reason why this is important is because even if you are a pothead and that's what you want to do you can't always guarantee that you're going to have weed with you everywhere you are for the rest of your life. You know, maybe you end up in prison or maybe uh, you end up in a hospital or whatever. There's just so many situations where you may not always have that external substance with you. But what you always will have is your mind and your attitude. And, and utilizing those two things, you have the ability to generate <clears throat> feel-good feelings from within. That's something that doesn't cost anything. You don't need any kind of external substance. And this is something that you can do anytime, anywhere, whether you're on a, uh, on, on a train, a plane, a boat, a car. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. By focusing on, on, on what you can be grateful for, you can begin to generate those feel-good feelings from within. And when you do that, and you, you can see how quickly you can change your state, then you don't need those substances. And that's exactly what I did. And then after that, uh, um, because I was feeling so good, I went in my backyard, started gardening. Uh, I worked on some projects some more. I went for a four mile run last night and I ended the night feeling just so good. And so it went from a split moment of missing weed, um, uh, uh, of you know, feeling sorry for myself, I'm tired, blah blah blah, to turning everything around in just a just a just a few moments to feeling really good about myself and finishing the day strong like a champion, and then waking up the next day strong, going right back at it. And so that's what I want to share with you guys in this message. That yes, of course, those temptations will always be there in our life. Of course, I have those temptations. We're all human, but the difference between having a thought, a temptation, uh, um, and, and, and entertaining it. The difference between those who are able to have self-control in their life and those that don't is the ability to just simply entertain a thought and to take action on it. So don't just take action on those thoughts, those temptations, those weak moments that come up. <clears throat> Instead, take action on what you can be grateful for and change your life now. Let's make it a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life.